Good morning. All right, I forgot to set up some music. Very lightly, very lightly so we don't get in trouble. All right, boy, I am loving the sleeping in. I am not gonna lie. Love it, love it. Okay, I make sure we turn the volume down. So we don't get in trouble with the Facebook people. All right. Whew. I don't know if you guys are all on spring break, but we are, and I'm loving the sleeping in. <coughs> so I apologize for not being on at 6 a.m. in the morning, but if you get to sleep in, I hope you're not up at that time. All right, so today's just going to be a little bit of makeup to wake up. No, wake up to make up. See, my mind's still not working because it's on spring break. Um, you should know what lipstick I'm going to use. I'm going to be using that stuck-up lipstick. And I definitely have both tubes of mascara warming up. And today's really going to kind of be viewer's choice. I probably should have put that in the comments of this post, but oh well. Um, if you're joining me, my name is Carmen. I am an orange status presenter with Unique. I am not a makeup artist. I'm just a girl who loves makeup and sharing the tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. I am excited. I'm hoping to get to my gallery wall today. I have a new addition, so I kind of have to move some things around because I'm totally excited about my new addition picture. So, yeah, something is going to have to go like this section, I think. All right, so let's start with skincare. Um, during the night, I am back to consistently using my lash serum, and I use it on my lashes, and I also use it on my brows. And I've got this little, you gotta love that little leftover. That shows how tired I was last night, because I hardly, I took it off, but I was not throw clearly um so I'm using it on my brows because I have you know some spots that we are working on filling in I am already telling a difference on this eye this brow so I'm totally excited about that hi cousin Jose it's asking me if I want to bring you on camera wouldn't you love that all right, let's talk skincare. Normally, I'm on spring break. Normally, I would not be putting makeup on today. Not gonna lie. I would be doing kind of my morning skincare routine and that would be it. But because I'm doing my wake up to makeup, I am flexible with take, changing the time so I can do a little bit later. So we're gonna start off Sorry, my son is texting from the other room. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start off with rose water. Here's the deal. And this is a mess. Like, I got a message yesterday from a friend. And there's a couple guys on here. So what do you do for skincare? Because men need skincare too. <clears throat> so we can definitely talk about that. Um, rose water is great because it's a toning spritzer and it's good for all skin, including the male skin. Yes, I know. I would love to know if any of you males on here, I'm just going to adjust the camera, do skincare. I am getting down to nothing. I have got to place my order. Rose water. It is going to help with inflammation. It's going to help with your pores. It's going to help just, it is such a, I love using it as a toner and it's just part of my morning routine and the smell is amazing. It's not overwhelming for me, can be for others. I do know one person that cannot do it. Um, I am trying to decide I'm going to go ahead and use the lifting serum. I totally forgot to take a picture this morning. 
So I'm going to use, I'm just still scraping out. Remember I told you guys I'd get a whole nother week out of this and we're going on like week two. So we're going to take our instant lifting serum and we're going to put this in all the trouble spots. Normally, if I was home on spring break and I was not doing this video, I would not be doing this because I like to go with no makeup. Give your face a rest. So I'm just going to hit these spots here. So if you are a male, and like I said, I got a question yesterday about this. Um, you do want to help still take care of your skin. So rose water is great. Moisturizer is huge. That is something you want to do. If you have bags or wrinkles around your eyes that you don't like, the Instant Lifting Serum. It's going to work on any skin. It doesn't matter. The Instant Lifting Serum does not care if you're male or female. Just saying. And then I'm going to put it right here around my eyes. If you have bags under your eyes, bring it on over and go underneath that. And I'm going to hit these because I am a side sleeper. And I have these. Um, I did not turn on my light. I have these lines, these wrinkles that come down right here from sleeping on my side. I really need to try and change that. But at my age, do I really need to change that? Like, really? Really, really? I'm trying to decide which foundation to use today. If you're tuning in, feel free to say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. If you're a replay viewer, hashtag replay. Again, feel free to tell me where you're watching from. Feel free to hit that share button. And you can also invite your friends. So if you have any friends that are into makeup, feel free to share it. Feel free to tag them. Um... I was going to let you guys decide which foundation you want to see today. We're looking at a BB cream, which is a tinted moisturizer. I know I've gotten a lot of questions regarding that lately, so maybe I'll use that. We have the, the BB cream is great for people um, with normal to dry skin. If, you're, have, if you have oily skin, the BB cream is not going to be the best choice for you because it has extra moisturizer and you do not need that. We're going to use... Our Glorious Primer. Whatever you do to your face, you want Glorious Primer. I will even put this on when I'm not doing anything to my face. Because it's that amazing. Okay, so we're just going to... You only need about a pea size. So if you have any suggestions on the foundation you would like to see today... Feel free to put it in the comments. You can use the liquid foundation or the BB cream or I decide. All right. I like to let that sit for just a moment. Take a break. Go refill your coffee. Do what you got to do. All right. Oh, I should have done a half face today. Oh. <gasps> I am doing that. I'm only doing half my face today. That is exactly what I'm going to do. That was a great idea, Carmen. All right. So what I'm going to do is, what am I feeling today? What am I feeling today? This is the perfect day to do a half face. Why did I not think of this yesterday? I am going to first move this cord over. And I think, what am I feeling today? I think I'm going to use, I wonder if this is the color I'm going right now. I'm going to check something real quick. Good morning, Chris. I'm going to check and see if this is too light for me right now. And I feel it's not. We're going to go for this. If you're ever trying foundation, you want to try it like right here on your neck or the back of your hand. I think I'm going to go with that. So if you're watching, I am deciding which foundation I want to use today. Do I want to use BB Flawless, which is a tinted moisturizer, liquid foundation, or um, both? I think I'm just going to do my little brew. And... 
I'm gonna do baby cream. If you're popping on, feel free to say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm gonna do just my little brew here. Now, if I'm looking for something, because the BB cream is a light to medium coverage, but you're thinking, Carmen, I really need more coverage, but you love the BB cream, you can add concealer, our Skin Perfecting Concealer, into that. So we're gonna do that today. Good morning, Mama Jen. So I'm going to add just a little bit of concealer on that. And I'm going to stir it all together and mix it all up. And then I'm just going to do half my face today. We're going to look at the difference. When I used to do jewelry, I did that a lot. I would show the difference of how it looked. I did kind of this whole shock factor game. It was actually kind of really cool because that would show uh, what it looked like with the jewelry and then without and how the difference it really looks. Um, so we're just gonna get this on here. I was watching this show the other day when we were at the hotel and it was talking about makeup and um, using your fingers and, and all this stuff. And it said you're better off using your fingers than a makeup brush or um, a beauty blender because it has less bacteria unless you're really good about um, cleaning your brushes. Does that look awesome? <gasps> good morning, Amber. I was like, oh my gosh. No, but I'm good. I was thinking because you and I have our, our, our chit chat. Okay. So uh, what I'm doing today, if you're just hopping on, I am going to do just half my face today. Now I'm wishing I would have brought my wash rag in, but I didn't. So I am going to do just half my face with makeup today. And we're going to look at the difference. And, but I do have tissue paper so I can. Okay, so I am using baby cream with some concealer in it to help with coverage. So if we have someone looking for extra coverage because a light to medium is, is, is not enough. Oh, this is going to be fun. I am so glad I thought about this and always be sure to get under here, please. See, I have no, I don't have to go to school today, so it's the perfect day. So you can definitely see the difference and always go over. I always go over my eyelid. Now, if you have very oily eyelids, because some people do have a, an oily lid, you definitely want to kind of avoid that and just use um, a powder. And you also want to make sure you do not put too much product on. Okay. So Lori, we are using one of the products that you actually just purchased. So I used <coughs> the Glorious Primer, and now I am um, used the BB Cream, and I put some concealer in it. Okay, but we're only doing half my face. This is going to be fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm all excited now. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so we're gonna use our translucent setting powder. Now what's gonna be hard is trying to make sure I just get it on the one side, right? I love the BB cream, and especially right now. Now during the summertime and my skin will start to change, um, I do get more oily, so then I have to shift gears and move over towards the liquid foundation side. <clears throat> Happens every single year. Hey, hey, Kelly. Kelly, guess what I am doing today? Can you guess what I'm doing today? I just had a wash rag in the bathroom, and I'm now wishing I would have grabbed it and brought it in. But we're just going to do this. Who can guess what we're doing today if you have not been on? All right. 
I'm sorry if I just slurped in your ear. Now here's the deal. Halfies. Today's the perfect day to do a halfie. Here's the deal. I do not do it and I do not know what I'm doing in my eyes yet. If you have a suggestion of something you would like to see with the eyes, <clears throat> whether it be the pressed powders or the palettes, please speak up because or neutrals or whatever. Just speak up because today it's kind of viewer's choice. Um, I decided to do the half face, so we're definitely going to see what it's like when you have half your makeup done. All right, so we're going to do the Brow Obsession Palette, which I am totally obsessed with, especially when my brows are on point. I just re Now I realized what's missing. I knew something was wrong. I don't have my wash rag. Okay. I always keep a wash rag right here at my table because that keeps me from wiping things on my clothes or my pajamas or on my robe, which I don't do Facebook Lives like that anymore because you don't want me showing up in my robe or my pajamas. But today I'm in leggings and my lipstick shirt. Okay, so we're going to go on and do our brow. Not going to lie. Janae did an amazing job on my brows, so totally loving those. I am using our lash serum in my brows right now to help fill in these spots here. This one is looking amazing. So I'm going to start off with the number one, and I do hold it upside down because if you hold it up this way with the mirror on top, the dry shadows fall into the cream, and I don't like that. It drives me insane. So I just simply hold it upside down. And it kind of works out better because I don't use that mirror. And then I can just dab in as I go. So, okay, so we're gonna, just gonna work on this piece there. All right. I feel like that may be getting a little too loud. And I do a little at a time. Just follow the line. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then before I do the top line, I like to comb them down. Because I just want, we're going to have to move this camera a little bit. That way you can see. Because I like to follow my natural la uh, brow line. Don't forget to hit that share button. Sharing is caring. It totally helps me out. You can also invite any friends that you think would maybe like this video. All right. So see, doesn't take much. Now I'm going to come in with the darker shade right there. And then we're just going to use this and we're going to just define our brow. And if you wear glasses, defining your brows, definitely something important because you want your eyes to stand out because they do hide behind your glasses. All right. See, I'm happy with that, but I feel like I need some right there. And then be sure just to brush it out. See, it doesn't take much. I'm... Look how pretty. Look how pretty. All right. Now we're gonna come in with the pink. The, oh, look at that, I just saw myself, that's so funny. We're gonna come in with a little bit of that, that pink highlighter that's at the top, and I'm just gonna use that to clean up around some of these spots, and then just to wipe it down. There we go. And then we're gonna use a little bit of wax. A little bit on the wax, does not take much. but it's better than using hairspray. This is the first time I've used a brow wax and I absolutely love it. And it is definitely better for my brows than using hairspray that I was previously using and then wondering why in the world I had dry flaky brows. Well, duh, it was the alcohol in the hairspray. <coughs> All right. 
we are moving on. So we are going to use, i um, going to straighten up the camera again. I know. Well, you know what? I got them done on. Now this one is being a little wacky doodle. Do you see that one right there? That girl there's, she's very, she's being uncontrollable. Um, I got them done on Friday before we went out of town. So they are on point today. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to use our busy woman's contour. So we're going to use our bronzer to do so. I just got to remember to do it on one side. I'm going to take my blusher brush and I'm going to dip it in both sides. And then I'm just going to come in following my cheekbone right under it. And then I'm going to put it into my hairline. This is the busy woman's contour. So if you are down, then this is great. I just, it's so easy. And if I can do it, honestly, anyone can do it because this is me we're talking about. Okay. And then just bring down, and as Kelly calls it, your gobbler. If you want to shade your gobbler, just put a little shade right under there. Good morning, Miss Debbie. If you guys are hopping on, feel free to say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. We're doing a half face today. I know, crazy. But it's a perfect day because I'm on spring break. I'm going to be at home getting this mess taken care of. So Beachfront Bronzer, amazing. If you watched my video yesterday, we used this as our eyeshadow and everything. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, be, if you share this video, be sure to comment shared. Um, gosh, I need to take care of those in my VIP group because I haven't. Is So now we're moving on to the eyes. Is there anything anyone would like to see in particular? I can show you what we have for options and you can decide if that's what you would like. But I would love to give it up to viewer's choice. Let's see what we got. I gotta put them in numerical order because it drives me nuts when they're not. So let me show you what we got for shadows. So we've got the Beloved palette, which I do still have two of these bad girls in stock. Okay, now I still, ah, thank you for sharing, Amber. Um, I am ordering more of these because I'm in love with the press shadows. I was intimidated by them before by choosing colors, but now not so much. Hi, Ricky. So you've got this option. And now I'm going to go through our palettes that we have that they come how they are. So here is palette one with some browns. Probably should stack these up better. Palette two are kind of like some grays, still grays, if that's your thing. Can you guys see that? Give me a give me a heart or thumbs up if you can see what I'm showing. And then one of you decide, the first one to decide, the first one gets. Here are like the purples. And this is the one that I used for that smoky eye, that simple smoky eye I did the other day. Love that. Palette four. Love this one. It's got some browns and some blues. Awesome. Thank you, Amber. And then we're looking at palette five, which can be scary. I, I dropped and broke this one. So it's falling off this pack. It's little pack. I need to glue that back. This is palette five, which can be scary, but I have found I really liked it. Um, this silver, very pigmented. Maybe that'd be great for Halloween. I'm not using it on a regular day. Very, very pigmented. Let me show you this. Look at that. Can you see that? Crazy pigmented. Yeah. So palette five. So any suggestions? Anybody? 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 Do you need me to go over them again? Because today is all about you. You guys decide which one you want. I'm going to have a little coffee break. Okay. 
or maybe there's um oh but i've got cream shadows so while you guys decide which one to do i'm just going to do my victoria's cream shadow which is now back in stock so if you need some of that in your life Hit me up, because it's amazing. You like the purple? <coughs> so we're gonna do some eye primer. So we can look at the purple options. So you're looking at like the purple palette. Oh, I only need this on one eye. Okay. Now, after you put the primer, you a little goes a long way. You do not need much, so just be sure to use a little bit. So, are you thinking the purple as in this purple palette? Palette number three? Let's see. I think that's all the pro oh 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 but if we really want to go crazy there's also these shades in purple so I'll pull these out because really today it's it's all about what you guys want to see because I really um I mean I'm this is all I'm doing today so I'm gonna use a little bit of the Victoria's Cream Shadow it is the most amazing base And then it really is kind of a twofer because then it takes care of your highlight, your brow highlight right under your, your brow. Oh my gosh, I changed my watch. I don't know if you can see this. I changed my watch to Buzz Lightyear and it changes its face. And it's like a little movie every time I hop on. Because like, look, her eyes are blinking. But it'll show them walking away and then they'll come back. So every time I change my face, it changes. And so then I find myself like looking at it every now and then to be like, ooh, what is it gonna be right now? It's the little things, people. But I, I accidentally swiped it yesterday and changed the face and then I was like, oh, how cute. Let's see how Buzz Lightyear works for a while. Okay. Does she? <laughs> I absolutely love 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 my watch it's a lifesaver especially because i work in a classroom so i don't um have my phone you know i do have my phone out but if i need to just reply or if i get a phone call i can look to see if it's like the kids schools or one of the kids or the husband or something so it's definitely helpful okay so right now we're looking between palette five which has these shades in it, or palette three, which has these shades in it. Three or five? Three or five? <coughs> Good morning, Miss Christine. Miss Christine, right now, so we are going with palette five, I mean palette five, Durr, Carmen, palette three. All right, this is a beautiful palette. So this has got, what I love about these palettes that are already put together is they have the matte and then the shimmers and then they'll have a matte and some shimmers and then they'll have the dark, which I like because this is actually what I use for my, if I use a black eyeliner. So let's see, what do we want to do today? So we can kind of use, let's see what we're going to do. I got to think on this for just a moment. I got to think on this for a moment because the other day we did Cheeky and we used that um, as our, we did kind of that smoky eye. So let's see, we're going to use some flippant, flippant on the lid. Good morning, Miss Olivia. I don't know if I said hi to you yet. So we're gonna use the flippant, which is um, a more subtle shimmer. And then the cheeky we will add in in the crease. Let's go, let's try that. 
So I'm just gonna load some of this Flip It. My brush, good morning. So Olivia, I'm doing a half face today since we have no school. Just gonna make sure I don't have anything on the back side of that br on the brush. Okay. So I am literally just gonna pack this on the lid. I'm just gonna press it in there. And then, as I've said, you hear me say, even if you close your eyes and use the fill, is make sure you bring the eyeshadow all the way down to your lash line. Don't leave a line of skin color. It's going to, like, chop your eye, and you want it to look more open, not choppy. I, you know, honestly, I haven't used it for a while, but I'm using Flippant on the lid, and then... I'm gonna use Cheeky in my crease. So where's my crease brush? There we are. All right, just cleaning off my brush there. So we're gonna use Cheeky right here in the crease, which is that beautiful purple that we used the other day for the smoky eye, the simple smoky eye that I was terrified of. All right, we're gonna just turn you a little bit here so I can look in the mirror. And I'm just gonna focus right here and I am gonna bring it down. Remember, if you wanna go up above your crease right in here, then you're gonna wanna look straight ahead. Because if you think you're getting it and you're going like this, you're probably not getting it. If you look straight ahead, then you can see that either you are going in the crease or you're not. And if you want to bring it up, then you can see where it's at. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because we're going to come in, I'm just really going to kind of leave it really strong in the crease. We're gonna bring it up some. And then we're gonna bring it down and just get a little bit in here. I would love to watch you finish, but my son isn't listening, so I gotta go. Okay, um, Amber, I will be, um, I will message you at 11, and then we can chat. And then you can always come back and watch the replay. That's the best thing. Good morning, Miss Katie. Okay, so we're gonna bring this, and we're gonna come down to our lower lash line. So when I do this, I, I feel like I don't even have to do um, like an extra liner like I normally do because I feel this covers it. If you make them a little mistake like that right there, don't worry about it because we're gonna take care of that in a moment. So, okay. I am gonna bring this down just a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna come in with my most favorite brush, my blending brush. I love this brush. Coffee break. All right, so we're just gonna come in and I'm really just gonna focus on that area. Instead of blending it like I normally do, like all over, I'm really just gonna focus on this area in particular. Just blending it together. And I do feel like I want a little more shimmer. Like up on top. So we are going to 
I'm just gonna kind of blend that top in, but then I'm gonna come in with a little bit of smitten. Smitten is right here, and I can't, it's almost like a blush, but not really. Olivia, what would you describe smitten right there? It's a shimmer, so we're gonna come in with a little bit of shimmer right up here. We're just going to blend that in up on top. There we go, okay. And I'm also gonna bring that smitten down. I'm gonna get out my crease brush and I'm gonna bring it right here on the inner corner because that is definitely gonna help brighten up the eye. And if you're wondering why we are only doing makeup on half my face, that's because we are doing makeup on half my face. We are doing a halfie today. Okay. So there's the eye. Now I do feel like I need some liner on my top lid. It is almost a lilac, you're right. <coughs> Just don't you feel like, I feel like I need a liner to, to help darken, not a lot. But I'm gonna come in with my angled shadow brush and I'm gonna use Irate, which is the black charcoal kind of looking color. And it is a matte. And I'm gonna turn the camera just a little bit again so I don't chop you out. I hope you guys don't see like my huge mess back behind me. Like I said, I do just a little bit at a time. And I'm just kind of stamping it on. And again, be sure you're going all the way down to that lash line. And then I like to give it just a little swipe so I just feel like it it's kind of mixing it in a little bit to where it's not just a drastic line. If you start with just a little bit at a time, just you can kind of build it up to you know what works for you. I changed my mind. I am gonna put just a little bit of this under here, but just a tad. There we go. See, like I said, just a little. So I'm gonna blend it out, okay? And then I am gonna clean this up around here on the next step when I do. Um, so that's it, that's all I'm doing. I think I'm gonna add a little more cheeky in the crease. But that's it. <laughs> the Ingram has arrived. Dude, what is up? The Ingram has arrived. Oh my gosh, this kid has been waiting. And so guess what, Anthony? Hey, dude, do you like my shadow? I'm showing it to you right now. Do you love it? Guess what we're getting ready to do? We're getting ready to do some longer, fuller lashes. <laughs> the Ingram has arrived. I'm dying right now. Are you trying to type in a response? Do you? How did you even figure that out, how to comment in that? Okay, we're going to move on to get our lashes. Okay, now I have been using what I call the triple threat. I have been doing um, the lash serum, and then today I'm gonna use, um, I'm not using the lash serum. You totally can use the lash serum in the morning. If you do that, you want to do a light, thin coat of lash serum, and then you want to brush it out with a spoolie or um, <clears throat> a lash comb, and let it dry before you apply the um, mascara. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the th triple threat today. We are going to have, Anthony, I'm going to dedicate this to you. We are definitely going to have longer, fuller lashes because we um, are using the Epic Mascara, which is our one-step mascara, and then I'm going to go in and use the 3D Mascara on the tips of my lashes. Can you turn the camera closer? I can't see your lashes. <laughs> Oh, child. <laughs> so if you guys do not know this, this gem right here, he is my student that I get to work with. Can you turn the camera close? I can't see your lashes. Um, Aunt Anthony, do you want to tell them your secret? Why you want me to go closer? Can you see my lashes there, dude? That's so awesome. He has been waiting to be able to hop on to one of my lives. All right, we're going to start with the mascara. So I'm going to start at the base, and I'm going to wiggle it and go up. And because I'm going to use a 3D mascara, I'm kind of just doing, I'm going to do a good coat but not too much because um, we're gonna come in and use a 3D mascara just on the tips of that. Let's see if you can tell you why he wants me to get closer with the camera. Do you wanna tell them your secret? It's not really a secret. You need like extra zoom. Okay, we're gonna do the back of the lashes I'm just going to get a nice, because I'm coming in with just the tips, I'm going to go ahead and do a good, good coat. I was thinking I was only doing um, a nice thin coat, but I'm not going to use the 3D mascara on the whole lash. So if you're looking for the one-step mascara, I'm going to show you a couple of views. Then this one is great. You tell them. So this kiddo... This one right here, a little troublemaker. Um, that is Anthony. So you're seeing Anthony. Anthony is the blind student that I have the pleasure of torturing every single day. And he loves hearing me talk about longer, fuller lashes. So he will call my my voicemail just to listen to it because it cracks him up. So everyone, this is Anthony. This is my other fun job that I get the pleasure of doing. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that. So Anthony, I just used the one-step mascara just in case you were wondering. And then we're going to add longer and fuller by doing the 3D mascara, but we're gonna let this dry for just a moment. Hey, Anthony, how's, how's that homework going during spring break? All right, so we've got our gel and we've got our fibers. All right, so I have had this in a hot water bath. Just a tip, what you should do, um, maybe once a week, I probably do it maybe twice a week, is I take the gel and I rinse it off in hot, hot water. Okay, so that's what I do to, because you end up with fibers on it, it will dry up. So I'm going to use this on just, I'm focusing mid-lash to tip, that's it. And when I pull out the fibers, that's definitely what we're going to do. We're just going to focus mid-lash to tip. If you need to, if you feel like you need to, you can separate them. You know, now's the time to separate. I'm going to use the fibers. I twist it when I come out, and I roll it on the back of my hand. And now we're just going to apply, and I'm focusing on the tips. You could even do this way if you want. And then I always get the back. 
Now, one thing I did read, because we were talking about hooded eyes for my friend Michelle, is I read this tip that said if you have hooded eyes, you should not be applying to like these side of the lash, these um, this end. You want to like stop right here. So I am just gonna focus on the, those lashes until I see that no fibers are adhering anymore. All right. And we're gonna let that we're gonna let those dry on. Been doing Legos the whole time, and also, can you turn the camera even closer? I still can't see your lashes, dude. You're gonna have to look so close. You're such a goofball. <laughs> Anthony, when are you gonna let me put 3D mascara on your eyelashes? It would be gorgeous. You're such a goofball. Does your mom know you're watching? How did you figure out I was doing a Facebook Live this morning? Did mom tell you? All right, so when we're doing this, you definitely want to give it a moment to, to dry. I promise I'm going to have my blow dryer back here, and I will kind of show you the process when I have my blow dryer in hand. So... I always like to wait a minute. You're gonna do gel, fiber gel when using the 3D mascara. So I do gel here, then I go here and do gel, then I go over and do fibers, and then I go over and do fibers, and then we're gonna come in because the most important step is to gel it on, this last coat of gel. Gel, fiber gel, always. So these are if you want like bang and bang and lashes. So if you're popping on, feel free to say hi. Tell me where you're watching from and feel free to hit that share button and share it to your friends. Hey, Anthony, you gonna tell them my nickname? Who knows, it's a mystery. It is a mystery. Anthony, what's my nickname? Have you, this kid came up with this name. It was not me. All right, so there we go. So that is, I'm gonna look up a little bit. So this is with the Epic Mascara, and then someone said this view also helps. But there we go. And then you don't wanna comb them out till they've had time to dry, because if you go swipe up and they're not quite dry, you're gonna swipe off all that work that you did. Okay, so there you go. Seeing the difference between these two faces? Crazy. So Anthony, what I'm doing right now is I'm only putting makeup on one half of my face. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna move on to my under the eye tip. You're the one who came up with it. And your nickname is The Hammer. Did I? I don't remember. It was so long ago. Yep, that's my nickname, The Hammer. That's funny. I thought it was you that came up with that. It was like three years ago. I've slept since then. All right. So we are now <clears throat> going to take the concealer. And I want you just to take a look at this side. This one doesn't matter because we did not do anything on it. No, you cannot stay in here. No, no, no. It makes me nervous. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to put some concealer under this eye and then we're going to brush it down. And we're going to kind of come in with, into a triangle without being so... Anthony, is it the obtuse triangle that is like more narrow and long on the base? And then with the leftover concealer, we're going to go in Conceal this, put this here. We're gonna use it like as a highlighter. Normally I would do my nose and right above here, my Cupid's bow. And then right here on my chin. So we're gonna bring that under here. That's just the first step. There's a couple of steps to this technique and it's actually worked out amazing. 
Anthony compliments my under eye brightness every single day. All right, so now we're gonna come in with our concealer brush. And I do believe that I probably came up with it because he has a better memory than I do. All right, so now we're gonna come in and we're going to buff this into the skin. You wanna buff it in so it's not laying just right on top. We actually wanna work it in to our skin so it's not just an extra layer. You don't want it to look cakey. And then what I love is you can use it to clean up this area here. So if you brought down a little too much, you can just help clean that up. Then we're gonna run it along the other spots that we applied. Okay, and then we're gonna pull out our beauty blender. I've got my mini one, and then I have the big one for the bigger spots. So you want to damp that one. So I have my cup of water here that I use for my mascara. With my little one, I use the rose water. So we're just gonna spritz that on there. Um, before we do under the eye though, you wanna take a piece of tissue Good morning, Jamie. We're on break, who cares about math? <laughs> I care about math and equations right now. How are you, Jamie? I will be talking to you shortly too. Okay, so this technique. So we put brush the concealer on, we buffed it in, we dabbed the excess off. Now you're gonna take your damp beauty blender and we're gonna tap and we're just gonna follow it out all the way out. And it definitely makes a difference underneath the eye. If you were able to see my eye earlier, it definitely brightens it up. And then you're gonna take your damp beauty blender and you're gonna get those other spots. Oh, my dog, you hear her? And you're just gonna tap, 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 tap. And make sure it's blended out. So Jamie, what we're doing today is we just are, we're doing a half face. So we only, we're gonna look at the difference between a half face and then this side. You tell me which one you like better. Okay. So now we're gonna be sure to buff in our line of demarcation. I think it's what it's called. I'm just gonna make sure we don't have those lines there. And I just used my bronzer to help with um, the contour, my Busy Woman's Contour. So what you can do is you feel if you feel like you need a little more, just grab your brush and get a little bit on there because there's still some left over. And then I'm going to take our blusher and I'm just, you don't need much. It's very pigmented. So I'm just going to put it right here. In the apple of my cheeks, you kind of just want to keep it right in there, okay? You do not want to bring it down below because you want those cheeks raised. Now I feel like, there we go, because I feel like I had too much on there. And we're just going to get right there. doesn't take much. If you feel like you got too much, just take your brush and kind of mix it out. All right, now, normally I would not put like a brown lipstick with this, but I have to show this lipstick because it is amazing. So we're gonna show this lipstick. This is called Stuck Up. All of our hostesses, if you have a qualified party, which is $125 in orders, you get this Stuck Up lipstick for free. So. I do not have a lip liner that matches, but you know what I do? Nah, I don't think so. I'm just not gonna use a lip liner. But what I have to do first is I have to use my luminizer because I love it. I love that they send me a reminder. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna take our amazing fan brush and our benevolent um, powder luminizer and you want to get just the parts that the sun hits. So we're gonna go right here above the cheekbone. If you have wrinkles right here in your eyes, crow's feet, 
You do not want to get all up in there because then you're just going to be highlighting those and you don't want to do that. So be sure to get down below right above um, your orbital bone. Is that what that is? And then the nose. And then the lip. Those are my favorite spots to get. You can go right under. All right. Now let's move on to lips. It's gonna be tricky just to do half of the lip. All right, so we're gonna turn this again so I can look in the mirror. There we go. I need to get me um, our lip brush. Our lip brush is amazing. And if you ever make a mistake and you still have your foundation brush, bring it in and use it to clean up any mistakes you have. There we go. And then we'll spray it. We'll do our blessing for the day, which is usually my sign of the cross. There we go. So we did a half face. I don't think I forgot anything today. So what do you think? That side, this side. That's awesome. I'm so glad I thought to do that today. But I do see a little bit. Ah. All right. Well, that's it. Is your hand over the camera? I can't see anything. Then you need to look harder, child. <laughs> These are called blind jokes. You are too funny. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So I got to do a halfy. I've been wanting to do a half face and I haven't been able to and I'm totally not doing my hair so I braided it I at least got it combed that that's a plus so all right well I'm gonna get going good morning Laura look what we did look what we did I feel like which would be which Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde Anthony, I'm turning my face from the side with makeup to the side with no makeup. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I know it's hard and crazy when it's a different time of the day, but I totally appreciate you popping on and watching and getting to watch this half face. If you are interested in getting, I'm trying to pull it out here without making you all dizzy. If you're interested in getting your hands on this lipstick, comment below stuck up and I will message you and we will work on getting you that lipstick for free and I love free. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hit that share button down below and share this to your wall. I would totally appreciate that. After you do that, though, be sure to comment shared because that will get you entered into something in my VIP group because sharing is caring and I love to give back to the people that help me out. So thank you for watching my half face. Thank you for helping me choose the shade to use. It's another purple eye that Miss Amber chose. I have a pimple on my face. What am I to do? Sincerely, pimple infest infested six greater, greater, that's G-R-E-A-T-E-R, -E -E and it's greater, G-R-A-D-E-R. -E so you need to write that five times each right now, and you can email it to me. Because you have a pimple on your face, you need to be washing your face. Because you're a sixth grader doesn't mean you don't have to be washing your face there. So you got to wash that face. <laughs> oh my gosh, this kid. Laura, if you're watching, this kiddo right here, Mr. Anthony Ingram, is the, is the amazing kid that I get to work with and torture 
during the entire school year. Whoa. All right, guys. Um, that's it. I'm going to get going so I can get some things taken care of before I have to hop on to some video chats. Jamie, I will be talking to you in about an hour and a half. And you guys have a terrific Wednesday. If you were on spring break like Anthony and I, please enjoy your spring break. Um, and I am trying to do some spring cleaning and working and doing all this fun stuff. So you guys have a terrific Wednesday. Oh, I almost forgot. It's Wednesday. So I will be on here tonight, 7.30 p.m. for my live Q&A. So we will see you tonight, 7.30. You can come on and ask any questions you may have and or you can hop on live with me on to my live alongside me. Let's see if anyone's interested in that, but we'll see you tonight, 7.30. Have a great day. Peace out.